Okay, we're uh, got here with Rebel. I'm Keeper. This is an NEP Airsoft look at a sniper game that we had at Paintball Asylum up in Tannersville. Problem is, the scope cam on Rebel's sniper rifle quit that day. Yep. So, here we are starting on the pond side. Yeah, started pond side, uh, moving up, fighting towards the middle. There was no 50 yard line this game. This is their first time really playing airsoft, so they're we're testing a lot of stuff out just to see how it would work in that. Uh, just as an added note, Paintball Asylum started doing paintball July 1st. Okay, they had a, three practice games, and this is what they like. They call their first official game where they chronoed and all the rules are in place. 400 with two O's, which is one or one four nine joules, and okay, sniper man. rifles are 500 with two fives uh, or 2.3 joules. Now you heard the ref. Uh, there, uh, we had a problem with the whistle that you it's the same as the paintball guys yeah. that are still there. Now, you really couldn't see anything from that barricade no. that you were in, not at all. On the left hand side, here the speedball guys uh played paintball in there, but some of the airsoft guys went one on one and two on two in there, they had a good time. That's the young men's sport, there, yeah. Now, what, what are you actually shooting at here? I I think I was shooting into that building down there at uh, one of the newer players. I believe I was. Okay. I if that was the shot that I did get that person, I remember that. Uh, yeah, I think that was that shot. Now all this like newish wood that you see here is new stuff that he just put up. Now here you're scrambling. Are you getting shot at right now? Right now, no, because I don't know exactly where they were. I think they were down in the woods on the right there. Was anybody? Like in front of you to the left here? At the time? No, I don't think so. But well, there, there was know. there's two in front of you in front of the building though, right? That was that that's where I got the kid in the building. You can see the building there ish. Okay. Right there. I did get a one there. Uh there was a cone in there which I thought was somebody's orange tip on their gun, which I was waiting for him to move but never moved until I moved over more and found there's an orange cone. So now I really started to scramble. And I got shot at like right around here and it hit, hit the, off the barrier right in the front there. And I was worried about people coming up on my left. Now you saw people down in the creek right here now, right? You were uh, they were like up in the path here, not exactly in the creek. Okay. But like I, you can kind of see a couple people there. Not sure who I shot there. But I saw those two there. I saw them moving up. So I went to the person behind him, took him out. Then we have a hundred snipers have a hundred foot engagement distance. Yeah. So that's why I pulled my pistol because I felt that was way under a hundred feet. And the ref was right there. Yeah. Plus, plus three shots to get him. Well, yeah. I, the first two I completely missed. The third shot I finally got him. That's, oh. that's when I realized that Orange Cone was in there. Oh, that made me bad. Uh, no. I thought I saw before a BB flying in here when you were shooting before. Might have been. I know there's your BB going out, but yeah. I mean, I thought when you looked out the one spot, you actually had a BB coming out. Right of. There's a lot of, a lot of their guys are going to respawn right now, which is quite surprising, honestly. I think our players on the right hand side might have been taking out a, quite a bit of them. Yeah. Now, well, I think I tried and move it out into the woods, but it didn't, I didn't get too far. Yep. Yeah, right there. Got it. Right away. Ah! Got there it is. Got it. Stupid BB. This is a real nice place for like somebody starting out. I think uh, like they are, they were on top of the chrono. Matter of fact, I was doing the chrono. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> everybody's gun. There's our other sniper guy right there. Yep. HBA. Uh, everybody's gun was under 400 uh, with two O's. And the three snipers that were over 400 were all under 2.3 joules. Everybody was. And had so, to have a sidearm. And yeah. had to have a sidearm if a, somebody was under 100 feet. That was a, a, a must rule. Uh, the biggest thing that I saw that was a lot of fun was you had a diverse group. Not only yep. did you have like some seasoned players, but you also had some like people that had been there just the first time. Yep. 
uh, and you know we divided the teams up we we had a group of basically what there was eight of us yeah and we took four and immediately put them on the other side yeah so this way we were split up and then we took four from their team and put it on our side and we had some we had some really good guys on our team they're just played most of their guns were shooting at 300 to 350 with two o's very low power a couple of people i adjusted their hop up so they're shooting better it was a lot of fun but for all the younger kids that were playing they're all nice never a problem with them they you can tell they enjoyed us being there because we you know we helped them you know we didn't treat them any smaller than you know what they thought they would be but i just had a good time overall that was something too here the respawn uh if you heard kevin counting there he had to count to 10 when you came back to respawn now i personally think coming up on this right side was really cool um when they were pushing up when they were pushed up to their 50 yard line which is basically at the edge of this paintball uh speedball field there we could actually uh, fade over to the creek area which is over this little rise here and engage on in the woods there or engage them when they're in the like the left side there i actually was over in the creek side and i actually took a couple people out there yeah, a I lot never, of fun i never went over that side i don't know why i was like i think i'll stick that over here better now this barrier here we had a lot of fun with on the fifth game yeah we're way back here shooting at players way across the way yep i just wish it was a little more open on the right there in between all that. I wish it was, but... Well, he pushed stuff with a bulldozer or something yeah. onto the side there, he said. And I think if that was cleared out, I think he'd be doing a little bit better. Yeah. There is a couple of spots where you can go down in the woods there, which is nice. But that's a pretty good drop-off. It's down there like 10 feet. It's hard to see from here. Yeah. But that's a pretty good drop-off, like 10 feet. So... And just so you know, this player that's in front of Kevin right now with the white headband on... That's uh, our brand new female player. Okay. She's telling you got the yeah. guys over on the right. Yeah, there's somebody over there. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, so one of the guys we start playing with here. They're all coming up. One of our friends' teams. Good guy. Yeah, he's pointing him out. This shot here, I don't know if I actually got it. Or not. Uh, you I don't shot, know or not. and then he yelled hit, but other people were shooting. I, I think. Uh, our buddy Tim there? was up there. Oh, okay. he shot at him too. Okay. That's what I'm thinking, but and I, you, I'm not going to take credit for that. And you didn't listen to her. She nope. told you there was people over there. Oh, hit, hit, hit. I did not. And I get hit. <laughs> then she gets it. <laughs> yeah, you might get a couple She was pretty good about it, too, because her gun was barely right at 300. Yeah. It wasn't a rental gun, it was her and her brother. Which, were they on the same team? I think they were, yeah. I think they we were. kept them on the same team. Her gun and her brothers were both shooting, like, right at 300 with two O's. Uh, so I'm like, I, I helped adjust both their hop-ups so they got some good range out of them. But they're still only shooting 300. And uh, the rental guns there shoot 350 with two O's. And there was, like, three or four people with rental guns. And, uh, you know, some of us with our guns, my, my pistol shot 350 yeah. with two two eights. So I'm like, overall, I think I think huh? this place is pretty cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course, I dro my pistol's dragging. I have a habit of doing that a lot. Well, that's why the lanyard's on there, right? That's why I have a lanyard because it falls out of my holster a lot. But overall, I I enjoyed this place. You know, they were never they always always open to suggestions. They never uh -oh. said no. Anything, really? I, th I think as I'd like to see how they're doing today. Today, yeah. when we were there, now this is our friend Tim was having a problem with his X fog. One of the hoses came out on the side. Up and over here. <laughs> the big thing that we like see there is that day that we were there. It's ninety plus degrees yeah. with like incredible humidity. We're playing like ten minutes hydration break, ten minutes hydration break, and then. Uh, later on the evening, you know, as it got a little bit later and it dropped in temperature, we were 15 minutes in the hydration break. This is when I was playing with my camera, okay. trying to figure out what's going on with it. It's annoying that it broke. And just so everyone knows, when I looked at the footage on the camera for this particular game from the scope cam, it went about maybe two minutes, and then it's all scrambled. 
like I couldn't even get any decent footage to match it up with this game. Which I had, I'm glad we had, I used yours for the other games because I had some pretty good shots on those. I think there was a couple good ones here we could have probably seen if, yeah. you, if you hit the person, if you didn't hit yeah. the person. Now these new barricades on the side here uh, that he put up recently because the ones that were on there were like little little blocks about two feet high and he put these on and it you know the more covers better cover that's the way I look at it yeah you can tell on the left area there all those tents that's where the staging is it's like right off the field so it's great you don't have to walk far to get off the field not only is it intense but you also got some trees there yeah. so that's a little bit cooler and the best part I feel got two restaurants right out in front yep makes a difference oh. and we didn't go up the road. We actually went down the road to find another restaurant. But I'm told that there's restaurants, if you turn left and go up Camelback Road from their location, there's other restaurants farther up the street, which if we're up there again, we'll have to try yeah, that absolutely. and see. I, well, like I said, I had, I had a blast here that day. I just wish it wasn't as hot because I think we would have had a lot more game time. Yeah. But everybody was awesome. No complaints from anyone. Just great time. That was the whistle, end of the game, we're all going to go back. And this is the location we're at, Paintball Asylum, and the address is going to pop up here in a second. There you go, if you ever go in Pennsylvania and you get a chance to see it, have fun.